for Lyndon Byers. Chris Govadaris seeing his first Stanley Cup playoff action is belted by Byers in that corner. Govadaris was the Whalers' first round draft pick in 1988. Here's Everson shooting, and that's blocked. Everson has it in front. Young shoots, he scores! Weiss leads it for Neely. Neely and Jennings look out. Croft tries to spin out of that corner. Neely, the Carpenter. He's checked from behind by Tippett. Now Deneen is in Neely's face. They continue to go at it. The puck is poked along by Jennings. Carpenter to Beers. Over to Don Sweeney. Quick shot is off Shaw. And it deflects into the crowd. And now we've got Jennings and Neely bumping. Jennings wants Neely to go at it. Cam Neely has avoided getting involved in any Vista Cups for order of the coaches in this series. He's going to get an awful shock right here. I think he's going to go to the box along with Grant Jennings. There might be an extra penalty to the Whalers, but Neely will, I, uh, will signal to the box. Let's see how he reacts. Now he's going to take it cool, calm, and collected. But you talk about restraint. We're seeing it at its, at its peak from Cam Neely. This all starts... In the corner, Jennings and Neely, and I'll tell you, these are two strong dudes in there. Neely survives it and gets the puck in front. Wow. But Cam Neely, uh, you have to admire him for that. He's one of the toughest guys in the league, and he's doing the right thing by trying to stay out of the box, but he's going to erupt one of these times, and I'll be glad I'm up here. shot is blocked by Sidorkovich and we have a penalty upcoming. Carter went down and now he's trying to get at Samuelson. Very well he has a penalty call for us here. This will create I believe the second power play of this game. And the Bruins first. The Whalers have already had one. You know what? Was this the first? Oh they'll be coincidental. We're going to see Alf Samuelson come over and Jack John Carter right here. He's going to get the glove up, and this will be a roughing call. That's it rolled in deep in the Boston zone. It's taken by Beers. Beers is outed by Verbeek. Francis in for the puck. Center, the flex, they score! When the yeah, brakes are there, you got to take advantage of them. That's the ultimate example right there, as Carter is belted by Verbeek. Randy Burridge swings in. The pass is deflected by Babich. It's poked in front. Pull it, shoots, he scores! You watch number 11, Kevin Deneen. He is going to get a roughing call here somewhere along the line. Right there, the right hand. Sweeney was hooking and holding, and he was playing old-time hockey in that situation. And Kevin retaliated with a right. Rob comes out to meet the pass. Loses his helmet as he tangles with Samuelson. Samuelson has the puck. Babbage had it taken away. Neely shoots and he misses the top shelf. Wesley keeps it in. 30 seconds to go. Babbage. Again, a giveaway. Great action behind the play. Neely and Samuelson, I believe, will both go. the way his helmet was dislodged by Samuelson as they met near the penalty boxes and now they're going to end up in the dressing room. I really don't think he liked the way he missed the net up top on the glove side. I'll tell you, he's a strong man and he stays with it right here. He's showing great restraint in this series. He's going to come up with an interception right here. He's going to go high glove side and Sidorkowitz he was a tired man when he reached this spot. He stopped skating and... Poulin shoots and it's deflected wide by Jennings. Burridge picks it up. It's poked away by Sidorkovich. Burridge fires in the goal mount. They score! I believe it hit Tom Lack's stick and deflected in. In any case, the Bruins have tied this game up. Trying to go back to Deneen. It's broken up. Vice for the lead. Cam Neely roars in from the angle. Jennings is there to belt him along the boards. Neely keeps the play alive for Gary Gallo. And Wesley takes over. Neely on the move, and he's sidetracked in the hip check by Colte. The pass to Neely in front, and he couldn't. 
Get the quick shot away with Tippett on him, and we get the whistle. And we have a high sticking penalty upcoming against the Bruins. Referee Merrill Welly went over and checked Dave Tippett right away. He has not signaled if this will be a major or a minor. If it's a major, it's automatic ejection to one of the Bruins' top players, and it will be a five-minute major. Automatic ejection to Cam Neely. And what a chance for the Hartford Whalers. There's still 46 seconds left in the penalty to Kevin Denis. Let's see. You see Gary Galley conversing. Let's see the stick right here. Number eight, Cam Neely. Wow, right in the facial area, and he gets it up under the bridge of the nose. You can see Dave Tippett react just slightly. Well, he's running out of time and a golden opportunity. Here's Young. Missing Ferraro. Ferraro gets to it. And now we got a collision behind Moog involving Verbeek and Don Sweeney. And Moog comes up to say something to Verbeek. And Verbeek answers with a shove as that net was knocked out of there very quickly. I was watching the race for the puck behind the net. I did not see the collision in front of the net. You're going to see Ray Ferraro behind the net try and touch it first. Oh, I see Don Sweeney took Verbeek into the net. Now it's a two-sided coin on that uh, charging the goal area incident. Uh, or oh, yeah, there's no question about that. I'm not blaming the forwards say. all the time. I mean, a yeah. lot of the time, more than not, the, the, the defending player, in this case Don Sweeney, takes the player into that area. Now, I'll tell you, it's a pretty good play if you don't hurt your goaltender because the net comes off. knew he was going to freeze it. This puck was blocked. It'll come off the boards and in front. He knew right here he was going to freeze it. He didn't do a very good job of it. Here's Moe giving the Francis a little shot. He'll lift it off the glass. Christian catches up to it. Trying to turn it line of sir. And Sadarkovic covers the puck box. Sweeney barrels over Sadarkovic. Big face off now at the other end, as Jerry indicated, and the Bruins win at this end as well. Now we've got an injured linesman. It's Dan McCourt, who is down right from that face off. He might have been clipped by a stick, and Tom Woodcock comes out to uh, attend to him. Certainly, the most important thing is that linesman Dan McCourt is okay, but let's watch it from the face off. You see he's bleeding. Oh, the puck comes straight up. Oh, what a shot. That was an opposing player. That would have been five minutes. It's not, I don't mean to joke about that. 